Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we're making this super wonderful double daisy granny square. To make this super great double daisy granny square, you need your three colors. One for your flower, one for your little row of leaves, and then the rest to finish your square. So for my square, I am using these three colors of yarn, and you can use anything you want. These are just worsted weight acrylic, something similar to Super Saver, I have heard. These are produced locally in Kenya. I'll be using a six millimeter clover crochet hook to go along with these yarns, but you can use whatever hook corresponds to your yarn. The bigger the hook, the softer and looser your granny square will be. So we're gonna start with our flower color. We're gonna start by making a slip knot. We don't have to leave too much of a tail because we're gonna work over it and cut it off. So probably about two inches is great for your tail. So shrink that down and put it onto your hook. Now we're gonna do a small chain three. So one, two, and three. And then go into your first chain that you made. Just push your hook in so you have both of those loops on your hook. Lay your tail down along your work, so we're gonna work over it. And wiggle your finger and thumb to keep that center open. You wanna kinda of have them touching your fingernails if you can, or just have it pinched open. And then wrap your yarn and slip stitch to join. And chain one, I'm still holding on, I haven't let go, so I know where the center is of my ring and then into the ring, so I'm gonna to be touching my fingernail so I know I'm in the center, we're gonna do six single crochet. So to do a single crochet, you don't wrap your yarn, you just put your hook in, grab your yarn and bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off two. So now we've done two single crochets, we need to do four more and I'm working over my tail. So I'm just holding that along the side of the ring and now you can let go because you've crocheted into the ring so you know where the center is. So this is our third single crochet, four, five, and here is six. So there's our tail. I'm just gonna hold it behind to the back of the work. And now we're gonna count back six. This first one here, that's first stitch is our chain, so we're ignoring that one. So you can either just jump straight to the first one that's on the top or just count back to make sure you have your six. So one, two, three, four, five, six is that guy there. This guy on the side. So get into there. Both loops of the V on your hook. Mine's a bit tight, so. So two loops on your hook. Make sure your tail's behind. We don't wanna get that in our way. And now we're just gonna slip stitch. So bring the yarn through and bring the yarn through. So there is our ring and our six single crochet. Now we're gonna chain three, one, two, three. That counts as our first double crochet. And into this first stitch, the same place we slip stitched into, we're gonna wrap our yarn and make four double crochets. So wrap your yarn and go straight in, two loops on your hook, grab your yarn and bring it back, Push all your loops back onto the big part of your shaft. That's how you, they keep the right size, is by pushing them up every stitch. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. And again, so that's our first double crochet. Here's our second. And here is our third. And one more. Oh, so there's five. And those are all into the very same stitch. All into that same spot. So now pull up your loop, pull up your hook making a big loop, and take your hook out. Find the top of your chain three. You can count your chains by these V shapes. So one, two, and three. Or you can count back along the top to five. So one, two, three, four, five is this guy. It's our first chain across and our third chain going up. So just push your hook into that stitch, and you wanna get two loops on your hook. I don't know why I crocheted so tightly today. So two loops on your hook. Put that loop back on your hook and shrink it down. And turn your hook and slide it through that stitch to close up. So we made a popcorn. Now we're gonna chain two, one, two. 
So we have our first popcorn. We're going to do six popcorns around this ring. So five double crochets into the next stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. All of those into the same stitch. So we have five double crochets. Pull up your hook, making a big loop, take your hook out and put it into the top of that first double crochet that you made. Hook in, put that loop back on your hook, shrink it down and pull it through. Chain two. So wrap your yarn into the next stitch, five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Pull your hook up and making a bigger loop into the first double crochet that you made of those five. You can count back five if you want. Put your hook in and then put that loop back onto your hook. Shrink it down and pull it through. And chain two. And now you've made five popcorns. One, two, three, four, five. So we have one more to go. And you'll look at the top here. It looks like you have uh, two stitches left, but one of them is where we joined. So that one, you're ignoring that one. We just have one more, one more popcorn to make. So into the next stitch, wrap your yarn and make five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Hook up and making a big loop, take your hook out, put it into the top of your first double crochet, loop back on your hook, shrink it down, and pull it through that stitch. Chain two. All of our popcorns are always separated by a chain two. Now flip your work over a little bit and you'll see this first chain we made. After our popcorn, there's our first popcorn, after the popcorn there is a stitch. That's our first chain. We're going to slip stitch to that first chain. So get both loops on your hook and slip stitch to join. Chain three. One, two, three. So this counts as our first double crochet of our next row of popcorns. So four double crochets into that space. So one, two, three, and four. Loop up, hook out, and our chain counts as our first double. So one, two, three, four, five, counting our chain. So again, into the top of that chain three, put your hook in, put your loop back on your hook, shrink it down, and pull it through. Chain two, one, two. Now into the same spot, so push your stitches back, grab that chain, the chain two from under and slide those double crochets over to get yourself some more space in that spot and make five more double crochets. So one, two, three, four, and five. And the same thing, hook up making a bigger loop and go into your first double crochet, put your hook in Put the loop back on your hook, shrink it down, and pull it through that stitch and chain two. So now in between each of these popcorns of the previous row, we're going to be doing that of making two popcorns. So two popcorns in between each of these spaces. So we'll do one more together. Five double crochets into the next space. Three four, and five. Hook up, making a big loop, take your hook out, put it into that first double crochet, loop back on your hook, shrink it down, and pull it through that stitch. Chain two. So every popcorn has a chain two in between. Now grab that chain from underneath and slide your stitches back so you have some more space there and five more double crochets into the exact same spot. And you want to try to keep your double crochets side by side. You don't want them on top of each other. So I keep laying my yarn in that little crack. So I wrap my yarn and then I put it down 
I hook it from that, or I snag it from that little crevice. And that kind of pushes all your stitches back. And I do that every time. That's how I get them laying side by side. And then hook up, making a bigger loop, and turn it into a popcorn. So hook into the first double crochet, loop back on the hook, shrink it down, slide it through, and chain two. So there we go. Keep doing this all the way around. Two popcorns in, in the space between the two popcorns of the round below. And I'll meet you for the join. So there's my last popcorn, chain two like always. And the same as we did the round before, flip it up, like flip it over and you're gonna slip stitch into that first chain. It looks like it's really far away, way over there, but that is the best spot. So put your hook in really tight, lots of tension, because you just want to do a small little slip stitch. And then chain one, it's my scissors, and cut your yarn. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. Now our tail, because I don't want to sew them in later, I'm going to weave it in these back loops here. So just the back loop, one loop on your hook, grab your yarn and bring it through and we're going backwards. So go back against like the opposite direction of how you crochet and just wiggle it into one of those loops doesn't matter which one to be honest with you. A few little spots. And then I take it forward. So then I put my hook in from behind and grab it and bring it through. And then I'll put it in again once from the front. Just through one loop. Just so I'm going over it. It's going this way and back. So when I work over it in the next round, I'm pinching it in two spots and back and forth so it was not going to wiggle and come out later. So that is your flower done and you're finished with that yarn color, unless of course you're making a whole bunch. So get your leaf color ready if you're doing leaves, you don't have to. And where I joined the yarn or where I finished this one off is here in this section. So you can see it's a bit thicker than the other sections because they have all that yarn. So I'm not going to join there. I'm going to join three spaces back. So there is where I joined. One, two, three. I'm going to join in this one. So put your hook in and put a loop of yarn on your hook. Bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail, leaving it along the side of your work so you can go over it a bit. And chain two. If you join your yarn in a different way, you're going to want to join your yarn and do a chain three. Because this counts as your first double crochet. So now into this spot, two double crochets. One and two. And into the, now you drop your tail. In the next spot, three double crochets. We're just doing regular granny shells now pretty much. So three double crochets into the next space and three into the next space. Two, three. So this is our first one is half of a corner so we're going to make a corner there. Two for the sides and now we're doing a corner right on top of where we join. So that'll be six double crochets on top of our join and that really secures our tail from the flower. So three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets all into the very same space. Right in between those popcorns going over your tail. So now your tail is good and covered up. It's not going anywhere and you can just cut it off when you have your scissors handy. So now we're going to do the side of our square. So two of these spaces each get three double crochets. So three double crochets into the first space, three double crochets into the next space, there's our three, and into the next one we're doing a corner. So corners are three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets. There's three double crochets, there's our chain two. You can push your stitches back if you've run out of room 
and three more double crochets to finish off that corner. So now you can see just by doing what we did, we've got a nice little square started. So now two sides, so each of these next spaces gets three double crochets in each. So the first one, three double crochets. Next one, three double crochets. And then this one's going to be a corner. So it's always going to be corner, side, side, corner. So we've done corner, side, side, so now it's corner. Corners, three double crochets. Chain two and three double crochets. Push your stitches back if you think you might be running out of room. You always want them side by side. Like that. One, two, three double crochets in the next space. Three double crochets in the space after that. And now we're in where we joined our yarn. So we're going to do our three double crochets in a chain two because we're going to join there. We always want to join in a corner because it's, it's the easiest place to hide it where you don't see it in the next round. You don't end up with a chain going along your granny square. So three double crochets into that corner space where you joined, chain two, and slip stitch into the top of the chain three to join. Slip stitch and a chain one. Now we're going to cut our yarn because we're finished with our, our leaves. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down. Now along this corner we're going to work in this yarn as well. So in our, and we're going to work back along this corner. So again, we're going to work over our tail with our six double crochets in the next round. And we don't have to use a darning needle later. Of course, you're welcome to do your tails however you like. So put your hook into the back loop, grab your yarn and bring it through. And you're going to do this all the way along past the corner. So there's two stitches of the corner we've done. I at least do the first one of the square, but usually I do one more. So two stitches in, and now yarn going backwards and hook from under. I skip a stitch, grab the yarn and bring it back to the back, and then I do it again on the other side of the corner. And that just makes it so it goes, the yarn, the tail goes forward and back, so you're working over it twice and it's very secure when you're finished. So now we're finished with the leaf color yarn. We're not going to join where it's bulky, we're going to join in the next corner over just to keep things even. And I'm working still into the front of my work. So put your hook down into the corner space. Grab a loop of your new color yarn, bring it through and slip stitch with both to join. Drop your tail the same, leaving it along the top of your work because we can work over it a bit, and chain two. And again, if you've joined your yarn differently, do a chain three. This does count as our first double crochet. And two more double crochets into that corner space. Now drop your tail. And in past these three, or on top of that where that bougainvillea, or on top of where the petal is, there's your space. And into each space along the side, you're going to do three double crochets. So one two, three, and into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, three. Next one, three double crochets. So you're going to do that along each side, and in the corners, you're going to do a corner. And the corner is the same as it was below, three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. And in this corner, we're working over our tails. There's our chain two and three more double crochets. One, two, and three. So we've done one corner and one side. And now we just keep going around. 
we can drop this tail and now three double crochets into each of these side spaces and a corner in each corner three double crochet chain two three double crochet so working your way around the exact same way and I will meet you at the join when you get to the corner where you joined your yarn you can push those stitches back so you have more space and you're gonna finish your corner so to finish your corner you're gonna put in three double crochets And because we're going to keep going with this yarn color, we're going to do a chain one and we're going to join with a single crochet. So instead of a slip stitch, you're going to do a single crochet. So put your hook into the top of the chain three, grab your yarn and bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off two. And that just helps us stay in the center of that corner to hide our join as we work our granny square. And chain three, one, two, and three. Now we're also going to turn our work. We want to turn our work so that our square stays true. You'll notice as you crochet, the square, if you don't turn, kind of starts shifting. So it becomes a bit like of a funny shape, like a church window or something. So to keep it square, we just turn our work every now and again. You don't have to do it every row, but it helps if you're making a larger square. So turn your work and into this first space, we're gonna do our, t our one double crochet. So just one, and now we're gonna do one into each of these stitches going back. So to see your stitches, it's just these little holes, these little dimples. So you're gonna go into each of those dimples going all the way back. So just into there one double crochet into each one until we reach the corner and you want two loops of the V on your hook but if you go into that dimple that gives you the two loops on your hook but you can oops lost that one my hook was too fast so go into each of those little dimples and make one double crochet and I'll meet you at the end of this row now at the end, this last dimple here, this last double crochet, that one needs a stitch. So remember to go into that one with a double crochet. So now you're at the corner. And the corners, because we're turning it into a solid granny square now, we're not doing sets of three, we're going one, one, one. So now our corners change a little bit. Our corners are now two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet into each corner space. So there's my two double crochet into the corner and chain two and you can rotate your work a little bit and two more double crochets into that corner space. Oops. And now each stitch along this side we do the same thing one into each of those dimples and this is our last one this is our last one over on this side that little guy there and then for the corners two double crochet chain two and two double crochet so keep going like that and I will meet you at the join when you get back to where you joined it looks a bit different so what you want to always remember to do is to go into this last double crochet if you pull them apart you can see that that one has a partner up top and this last guy doesn't so I just go into this little, you can go in anywhere, but I just go into that hole because it's also our chain so it looks funny. And I make my double crochet there. So that finishes the side. And now into this space we're doing our corner. So that is two double crochets and a chain one. And we're going to single crochet to join because we're not finished yet. We're doing one more row. So put your hook into the top of the chain three, bring your yarn back, wrap your yarn, and take off two. So there is our single crochet to join. And we're doing the same thing for this round. So chain three, oops, chain three to get your height. Turn your work. And now if you want another idea, which is easier, I should have told you the last round, but is put a stitch marker into that corner space. So when you're coming around, you don't have to wonder what you're looking at. You're going to know that that is your corner and that you have to do something different when you get there. 
So into your corner space, one double crochet, and now one double crochet into each of these stitches all the way along, and corners the same way, two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet all the way around. Making sure you go into that last stitch. Make sure this last guy has a stitch up there. If you just pull it apart, make sure you go into that one. It kind of looks like it's the corner, but you can easily forget that. So that's the only thing you've got to remember, and I'll meet you when we get back to this join. So same when you get to this end to join. Make sure you go into that last double crochet. It's all by itself. So I just go into that hole just on the side, the top of the chain. And so that's our, now we're just going to do our corner. So take out your stitch marker and we're going to just work on top of that stitch we made there with two double crochets, one and two. And now we're finished with this color of yarn. That's as big as I'm going to make my squares. You can make them as big as you want. You can just keep going the same way. When you are finished and it's your last round, then we're just going to join with a chain two and a slip stitch. So top of the chain three, two loops of yarn on your hook, tight little slip stitch, and a chain one. Cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through, snug it down, and now weave it in along this corner. And I just make myself do this now so that when I am doing the next round or joining, I don't have to stop and worry about my ends. I know that it is done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and stay hooked!